Hey guys, TSL here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how you can make like a teleport button that will teleport you between places or even different games if you want it to. Now, I just opened up Studios to a test place I already have made, so I don't have to like publish and save a new one, since to make like a new place under your experience, you have to publish the game. Now, one thing I have noticed as soon as I opened Studios is I finally got the new icons, and well, that's unfortunate. Anyways, uh, let's get into the video. So first thing we want to do is obviously go to our view tab uh, and find the asset manager, whichever one is this is now. Um, okay, it's this icon. And we're going to double click on places, not images. And we are going to right click and add new place. Uh, we're going to rename this to the, uh, we'll say the end point. All right, uh, so we can close this. Actually, before we close this, we need to copy the ID to our clipboard, and now we can close this. So if we make a little button, uh, we'll do a text, or first we need a screen GUI, and then we can have a text button in here. Um, in the text button, we will have a local script. This will have a local player service, is equal to game colon get service players. Um, a local player, is equal to players dot local player. I uh, will say local button is equal to script dot parent. Local place ID is equal to and then the place ID. You know the thing we copied to our clipboard just a second ago. Uh, and then here we'll say local function on click. We'll say uh, we'll actually need to get local TP service. Is equal to game colon get service teleport service, and then here we'll say TP service colon teleport. Uh, and there's a few different options. The one we're just going to use is just teleport, and we're just going to teleport to the place ID, our player, and we don't have any teleport data. This is some stuff that you can like pass in, like. Um, this is optional, so it can be like, let's say, a message equal to hello, and you'll have to re you'll have to um, retrieve this in a local script. By the way, if you use the teleport data, and then a custom loading screen, which, well, you just link to your custom loading screen, and it'll use that as a loading screen. Nothing complicated here, um, and right now, actually. What I want to do is go back to our asset manager real quick, and I want to double click on our endpoint place. This should open it up in a studios tab. And what I want to do is just make sure that this is saved and published. All right, so then we can definitely close that for real now. Here we just want to say button dot mouse button one click colon connect on click and we can just make some comments like connections functions services variables all right and then we, over here we can just say like teleport and we can Add the bold in italic. I'm really glad that they added this bold option here. Uh, that just makes things way better. And we can um, make the background color to this blue. And might as well throw in a UI corner. Alright, so if we go ahead and play this with the blue play button, uh, I really like the new loading screen thing that they did that Roblox has recently done. Um, I think it was a really good change. All right, teleport failed due to an unexpected error. Oh yeah, uh, that's something I forgot to mention. You can't teleport in Roblox Studio, so you're gonna have to make sure that this is saved and published and open it on Roblox itself. All right, so um, this is something I just want to bring up. There's no create tab on the Roblox desktop app. You have to use the website to like manage all your experiences and all that stuff. So this is like 
a really bad thing for developers. Roblox really should add uh, that create tab here. Well, at least we can click this and it'll open it up here. Um, and then we're still going to have to click this anyways because for some reason this will just be here. Uh, anyways, if we find this, and this is actually the place right here, uh, if I go ahead and play this, you see, um, you'll see in a second, instead of that, like, boring old Roblox loading thing, it has that, like, with your games icon in the background, which just looks really nice. Alright, anyways, if we click the teleport button, um, you see we get teleported to our end point. Alright, cool. Alright, so I'm back in the Studios tab, and now I'm in the Endpoint tab. I want to just go here and in a Screen GUI, make a Starter GUI and a Text Label. This local script will have uh, local players is equal to game colon get service players. Local player is equal to players dot local player. Uh, we need local TP service is equal to game phone get service teleport service teleport service uh, and we want our local TP data is equal to TP service colon get and if we search it here because I forget the exact thing uh, get local player teleport data uh, I guess we actually don't need this thought we did but I guess we don't um, so if we do that and then we set our text or script parent dot text equal to our TP data um, and we might have to all right, right now I'm just gonna print this because I don't know how this will return because I never used teleport data uh, anyways if we save not to file if we save this and publish go back here click play have the good loading screen again click teleport give it a few seconds to do its thing teleporting to endpoint um, and if we click for me it will be control and f9 or actually option no fn and f9 uh, and yeah it gives us a table um, so we know that so we know that over here we're passing in our message so we'll just work over here we're just going to say that our script.parent.text is equal to tp data dot message or message because this is lua and that usually doesn't work here uh, so if we save this to roblox and publish go in one last round just does seem like it takes a little longer to load up now I don't know maybe that's just because I have a ton of things open alright if we teleport this we're loading in and our message is hello which if you go over to our script you see our message is equal to hello alright so everything is working and that is how you teleport in Roblox Studios between different places and um yeah, this video was requested by one of you guys, so if you have any ideas that you guys want to see, just comment them down below and I'll try to get to them, as long as they haven't already been covered in one of my previous videos. Uh, other than that, guys, I'm sorry for not posting too often. I'll try to do it a little more. I'm also just really busy working on my game because I'm trying to get that out. Um, hopefully by like late January to middle of February, uh, that's my goal for releasing my game, which, of course, is a super training simulator game. Anyways, guys, please remember to leave a like and subscribe because that really helps me out and really will motivate me. Um, and, yeah, we're trying to get to 2K subs, and that will be really epic. So, please subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next video, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.